In the waters around Australia lies a massive ecological challenge. The decommissioning of over three and a half thousand kilometres of oil and gas pipeline and dozens of platforms. This infrastructure is close to the end of its working life and therefore has the potential to become a widespread and severe environmental hazard. But instead, what if these structures could contribute something positive to the environment and society in the future? Using a range of tools and capabilities, CSIRO can help identify methods which minimise risk to the environment, maximise reuse and minimise cost to industry. When viewed from the surface, these structures seem industrial and lifeless. However, go beneath the waves and you see a different story unfold. Life appears and thrives. Over time, some pipelines and platforms have become home to a diverse range of marine life. Using advanced habitat modelling, we can determine how important these habitats are and how important they could become in the future. As oceans warm due to climate change, a vast number of marine species will shift their geographical range. Some are already moving at rates of over 70 kilometres per decade. In the vast expanse of the open sea, these structures, or parts of them, could act as stepping stones for animals searching for a new home. However, it may not just be native species that benefit from these safe harbours. The existence of invasive species on a structure could be a serious threat to biosecurity. An oil platform is the central hub in a network of vessels ferrying cargo, personnel and product to domestic and international ports. Regular inspection and cleaning of platforms plays a key role in avoiding the spread of invasive species. If a platform is repurposed as a marine habitat, CSIRO can conduct risk assessments to help ensure invasive species don't use them to reach other vulnerable locations. This becomes increasingly important when considering translocating segments of a structure for use as an artificial reef. When removing structures, we run into our next challenge, contaminants. As oil and gas is extracted, contaminants from deep in the earth become concentrated in pipes. The removal process may kick up the sediment around the structures and release dormant contaminants into the environment. A range of tools are required to balance the importance of a habitat with the threat of invasive organisms and contaminants. The most exciting future for oil and gas infrastructure requires all of the tools and capabilities at our disposal, repurposing for the blue economy. From renewable energy projects harnessing the power of the sea, to sustainable aquaculture facilities feeding a growing world, the blue economy could transform these structures into something entirely new. This opportunity not only utilises the underlying physical assets, but also the expertise and experience of the people working offshore. There are many pathways forward, whether it be as a habitat and lifeline for marine animals, or economic potential in emerging industries. One thing is certain, the story is not over for our offshore infrastructure. It's only just beginning. <laughs>